What's up guys and gals and welcome back to the Nerd Castle. Today in the world of indie games, we're checking out a game that actually seems to be a little tiny bit polarizing. So this game is called Spaceborn 2 and it's got like 81% positive reviews right now on Steam. This one caught my attention a few weeks ago and I just hadn't gotten around to like really digging into it and like playing around with it and getting a feel for it. Uh, this is a very, very ambitious title about like galactic conquest, kind of set from a freelancer angle where you're a space mercenary it's an rpg you level up you get stat points you get like fleet wings you, there's capital ships you can have armies this game actually has space legs so like you can land on places and get into giant sort of mass effect style gunfights uh with soldiers that will also deploy with you lots and lots of stuff going on with this game but i think what caught my eye about it and this is a really weird thing to catch my eye about a game but of the 81 percent positive reviews the really, really gushing ones were from people that had like 400 hours in the game being like, yo, this is like the second coming of Freelancer, you gotta check this out. Like, yes, it's janky, yes, it uses a lot of like asset placeholders and whatnot. Uh, yes, it has rough edges, but like with the proper love and care, this is gonna be something amazing. And then there were other reviews that were counteracting that just being like, asset flop. And so anyways, when I see reviews like that that are so diametrically opposed with like serious hours on them, I get interested in a title much, much more because, like, I want to dig into it. I want to tinker around underneath the hood, see if I can break it, see if I can fiddle with it, uh, see if there's something redeemable there. So we're going to dive on into Spaceborn 2. I have no idea how long this video is going to be. I, I can't honestly tell you. Uh, we're just going to play, and when I feel like I've hit that wall of showing off enough gameplay, we'll go ahead and call it a day, and you guys can take the information on board and see if it's something you wanted to add to your wish list. The game is currently priced at about 15 bucks. I think it's supposed to be like 20 bucks normally, but they've got it on discount right now. Uh, the game is very early on in its development, but apparently it's been beta tested super heavily because there's a ton of people right now in the Steam reviews that have 200, 300, 400 hours. And so I'm guessing there must have been a closed branch or something that existed that basically gave people access to bug hunt and just play the game. Uh, let's go ahead and dive on in. The link is for you down below in the description if you wanted to check out the early access for Spaceborn 2. On top of that, you can also look down there and you'll find a link to my Discord and my Twitch stream just in case you wanted to hang out live. Haven't been streaming too much lately just due to the fact that there's been some really nasty real life stuff that I've been dealing with. But I'm going to get back on the horse soon once I've got myself all worked through that situation. So at the beginning of the game, we've got a number of stat groupings, and we've got to decide where our attributes are going to go. We've got Perception. That apparently makes our range damage better. These ones right here focus on, like, soldier combat. So when you're in third-person Mass Effect gunfights, uh, you've got Perception, which is your range damage. You've got Endurance, which is your HP and armor. You've got your Agility, which is your movement speed and your energy and all that kind of stuff. I'll probably just take... A couple of these up to 12 and kind of pop that in maybe like right there uh, pilot we've got reflexes which is crit chance damage boost crit hit damage fire rate accuracy all that kind of good stuff willpower which is armor and shields alertness which allows your energy to regenerate faster let's go ahead and take some damage right there we'll take a little bit right there and then we've got adventuring down here oh, we've got intelligence which is for analyzing anomalies trading crafting efficiency dialogue bonuses loot drop chance uh, we've got luck which is apparently probe scan accuracy and distance. Uh, we've got coordination, which apparently is misactor efficiency. I don't know what that is. Salvaging, contracting, mining. I do like the idea of, like, mining and doing some salvaging in space. So maybe we'll just kind of fiddle around and leave them right there. We also get to pick a background for our character, where we come from. Uh, this will give our fleet and ourselves different bonuses. I'm just going to go with Freelancer for right now. It means we get paid more. We get more experience. Uh, this game does have a lot of typos, and it does have a lot of grammatical errors. I don't know if the game was, like, translated over from a different language. Uh, but you're going to see that stuff along the way. When I said that what I've played so far is janky but charming... I I absolutely mean that it's kind of like charming in like an elix way where like you know that like there's a lot of jank here and you really want to like stick an ice pick in the jank and like kind of de-encrust it and like pull it off and talk about it but like at the end of the day i actually had fun playing around with this game for the last hour or so before i recorded the video uh we will go with the freelancer background and then we get to pick our appearance it zoomed wait that's how far we can zoom in right there we can get extreme chin definition, although this man has a serious Chad chin right there. I wish I was born with a chin that strong. Then again, the the the, the effect there, you can't have everything, is he's got that big old six head up there. All right, well, let's see what we've got here. We've got a number of different skin details we can play around with. 
Apparently, I can have all kinds of, like, reaver tattoos and stuff, too, if I really, really want to. Uh, do we have, like, different hairstyles and things? Ah, there we go. I found it. What kind of hairstyle? Oh, we can have the Norman Reedus, dude? Okay, Norman Reedus post-apocalyptic fetus. I'm ready. Uh, can I have a beard or are spaces... Are beards in space generally frowned upon? I don't know. Either way, let's just get into this thing so you can see some gameplay. I'm going to go ahead and kick it on off, and we'll start the game. Now, a very, very fair warning to you, there is no voice acting in this game just yet. They've got placeholder AI voices like Microsoft Steve doing all the voice acting. Uh, that drove me up a wall. I did not like it in the slightest, but it's one of those things that I can ignore because the gameplay didn't seem that terrible. Uh, we can move around. We are actually on a planet right now. This is what the cities look like in the planets. They're very alive. They're very bustling. They've got lots of people around. And the best part about it is you would expect with all of these tech... Oh, my God, that was so loud. I will come and see you, Grandma Arabelle. Uh, actually, I feel like they probably would have done better if there was just no voice acting at all, and instead, with those top left boxes right there, if they had just centered them a little bit, uh, so that you knew you were supposed to be reading something right now that was actively scrolling. But anyways, uh, when it comes to kind of like voice acting, this game can be very, very jarring due to all the AI voices. They do mix them up. There's Southern AI voices, there's Irish AI voices, there's old people, young people. Uh, there is every accent you can imagine that they've run through like a million different AI voiceovers, but that's it. Uh, Arabella is our landlord and she wants our rent. I'm going to go ahead and skip through all this dialogue just to save you all the AI voice acting. Uh, and then we'll get back to it once we're ready to roll. All right, so Grandma Arabelle is mad at us because we haven't played our rent. We haven't paid our rent in four moons. And to be fair, I don't know how long a moon is here, but a moon is like a fortnight, right? Which means if we haven't paid that in like four fortnights, we're pretty behind on the rent right now. Like, she's past the point of worrying about back rent, and, you know, she should be worrying about, like, front rent at this point. Uh, but this guy's going to give us a job that'll take us up into space to go earn some space credits. So the local fixer has assigned us a job. Apparently there's a combat mission. It is up in space right now. And there is something weird going on, and there's another interested party that needs a scout to go check it out. So that's exactly what we're going to go do. My ship is pretty far off this way. Uh, when you're inside the cities, there is weird collision in some spots. Like, for example, I can't walk over those rocks right there. There's just, like, flatly uh, kind of, like, collision right there. You will run into stuff like that. My advice would be just to stay on the main path and just kind of go where it tells you to go. So here's our ship. She ain't gonna win any beauty contests. Like, that guy right there is all sleek and ready to go. That guy's got, like, a really cool canopy, and he's got, like, a VTOL thing happening. Oh, I want that ship, dude. It looks like a helicopter. It's almost like a hybrid helicopter, like, Warthog. Kind of reminds me of the Federal ships uh, from Elite Dangerous. I like it. Uh, but this is our ship. It's a rusting pile of junk. It's what we start out with, though. Uh, if we want to get up and off planet, let's go ahead and hit R to take off. You do have to control your landing gear and things in this game. It seems to cut kind of like a jib somewhere in between arcade and simulator. Like, there are definitely keybinds you're going to have to learn if you want to play the game effectively. Uh, but there are a lot of things in this game that kind of, like, play themselves, too. So... You know, like, it, for example, in combat, you can lock onto enemies and you can hold down a key just to do chase mode and it, like, automatically aligns your guns and whatnot for you. And you don't really have to worry about anything other than dodging. Uh, but at the same time, the game expects you to, like, manage your cloak and, like, fire chaff when people fire missiles at you and, like, to put your landing gear up and down. And so it's, it's kind of an odd mix of arcade and simulator, but it has worked for me so far. I haven't hated it. There you go. We are now officially... In Spotchy. And in Spotchy, no one can hear us blast. Uh, so basically, the game is going to run us through a huge docket of tutorials right now. This entire first chain of missions is going to largely be tutorials. I'm going to do my best. I know that I don't heavily edit here on YouTube very frequently, but I am going to heavily edit in this case. Still, we got to go to a scanner, and they want us to go to, let's see here, select the mining station. Okay, so we need to go to the mining station. That's going to drop the mining station. Oop, did I get the wrong thing? Did I go to Trebuchet Point? All right, I think that's where it wants me to go. Oh, I've got a, tr okay, I get what they're saying. I've got a slingshot because it's on the other side of the planet. Okay, let's go ahead and lock onto that point, and what you'll see is that our warp engines are going to start to calibrate. And then once they're at 100%, we just hold down the shift key, and off, off, and away we go. 
And once we hit the slingshot point, we should be able to go to the mining station over here and continue our mission. Oh, it auto realigns us. That's really nice. I've never had to use a slingshot point in this game before. I've always had direct line of sight uh, for warping. So I actually thought it was going to stop me right there. And I was going to have to do the elite dangerous thing where I realign and fire again. It does it automatically inside the slipstream. You love to see it. Uh, but once we pull up to the mining station, there's going to be things to learn. I'll probably skip the tutorial, maybe. I don't know. Let's go to the mining station. Are Let's get ourselves... I am. They specifically requested those with ships above SX for. Well, you know. Don't get me wrong, but I'm not sure you can complete this task with this floating junk. Just <laughs> show me where to shot. Yes, I must shot things in space. All right, so after blasting through a whole bunch of tutorializing, we've got to go find enemy scout ships, and we need to obliterate them. It looks like our destination is about... It's kind of hard to tell because they're overlapped, but it looks like about eight kilometers this way. Eight clicks anyways. So I'm going to head on over there, and hopefully we can get ourselves into a jolly good little scrum and see what kind of mayhem we can get underway. I have found this game to be much easier to play in third person mode. Uh, you do have like cockpit mode. You've also got front gunning mode. If you hold down C, you can be on the interior of the ship. But I have found that by and large, the game plays best in third person. That's where it felt the most satisfying to me. So that's probably how we're going to play today. I am usually a big cockpit user, especially when I play things like Mech Warrior. But I don't know, the third person just felt better in this game to me. Uh, you can do little dodge moves like that right there. You can kind of swing your hips right there, Shakira style, if you wanted to get out of the way of any gunfire. Uh, we do have barrel rolls and things. Oh, we've got enemy fighters coming on in. Okay, let's go ahead and sort it up. Uh, he's closer. Let's go ahead and light him up. Oh, buddy. All right, he breezed past us pretty quick. Uh, we're going to go ahead and put some lasers on him. Once his shields are down, we're going to swap on over to our machine guns. Machine guns, you want to shoot for me there? And down he goes. We've eliminated our first target. Over here on the left, we've got another guy to deal with. So let's go ahead and get that moving. If you're wondering where my shields and my hull are at, they are on the left side of the UI. They are the blue meter and the red meter uh, that you're seeing just to the left of my crosshair where I'm firing right now. Uh, go ahead and give me machine guns. Yep, that works. And down goes the enemy. He's been eliminated. Just scout ships. We need to find out why they're here. Give me a second. Go to station the destroyed station. By an asteroid impact. I see a movement there. Not just movement, a movement. One there. singular just movement. Alright, so we're headed up to the pirate station right now. We're about to get ourselves into a little bit of a Donnybrook. You're about to see Space Legs combat. Honestly, I feel like the tutorial in this game was, in fact, pretty decent. This having been the second time that I've played through it, I feel like it more or less equipped me to, like, do space combat, do land combat, how to disembark, how to land, all that kind of stuff. I don't believe it. They set up a secret base here. Watch out. They shouldn't notice you. Or they can destroy everything, including you. Try to get close. All right, I'm going to turn on my cloak because I know what happens next. They have turrets. And so I'm just going to kind of go like Invisiboy mode right now. I'm pretty sure I can't jump jet when I'm inside Invisiboy mode. Eh, maybe we'll just pull up on them fast. I don't know. Is my cloak coming back? Oh, I have Watch been out. shot. They set up turrets around. I see your ship as a golf park. Use it now. Good. Now move slowly and don't fire any weapon, or they can locate you. We have to get into that building, but you can't get there with your ship. I know it's dangerous, but you have to leave the ship and neutralize those pirates. I will give you extra reward for that. The things we do in order to pay our four months overdue rent. You should leave your ship there and get off. All right, so I'm going to pull the ship in over here. There we go. And that's right. You just saw a tooltip pop up to eject from my I ship. Don't have any so there it is. Let's find you some firearms. Give me a second. I found some weapons and ammunition there. Go on equip them before the encounter. Let's grab some guns. There's a little gat right there. The All right. I got my assault rifle. 
let's kick off the wall. And let's go ahead and land. It's time for us to get into some actual combat. And down we go. We got pirates everywhere. But yeah, the combat in this game very much remind me actually of like the early Mass Effect games. So like Mass Effect 1, not the remake, the original Mass Effect release. Did I get some ammo right there? Oh yeah, I got Sniper Bullet. Uh, we can't loot that guy right there. He's got a Q Desbrow suit. All right, well, apparently I've got a Q Desbrow suit now. I don't know if all these crates are lootable either, but either way, let's go ahead and focus on the mission real quick. I don't see anybody inside that front door. I don't actually know where my ammo is at in this game. Is there a first person mode for this? There's not, okay. I don't know where the ammo is listed on your gun. It's not on the reticle, and there doesn't seem to be anything on the UI that tells you how many bullets you have. I have no idea what that gun is, but apparently it's some kind of shotgun from the impact holes that are on the ground. Uh, it says we've got 66 rounds to a magazine when we've got it inside of there, but I don't see the bullets actually listed anywhere while you're actually using the gun. That's definitely something they're going to want to get factored on into the UI, but... Let's not worry about it too much. Let's see what's inside the facility here. Looks mostly clear. Get wrecked, nerd. Oh, cool. You dropped bullets for me. I'm going to go loot the glowing crates because I like loot. Uh, the soundtrack in this game is super epic. Uh, it is like something you would see in like a circa 2007 Tom Cruise movie while he's like running from an explosion. All right, so we got the hack gun. Enemies coming in from just about everywhere. Oh, I can't fire while I... Oh, he meleeed me, dude. I just got the taste smacked out of my mouth. Is that guy in zero G right now with no helmet? Bro. I don't know how you've pulled this off, but, like, frankly, I'm just impressed for you. I'm just going to pretend that I shot the helmet off of him because that makes me feel better about the immersiveness. And he, Oh, there's a guy shooting. Yeah, she doesn't have a helmet on either. I definitely have to have a rebreather helmet on, so that's going to be one of those little immersion-breaking details they're probably going to want to sort out. Uh, there's loot over there. There's a couple guys underneath the ship over here. All right, down they go. I'll shoot them in the ween until they get out of my face. What is that? Uh, melted metal and the P-Duck shotgun. All right. Oh! I believe that they're shooting my ship right now. It feels... Oh, my God. Okay. Let's get back on board. Okay, we're taking a little bit of a thrashing here. Let's go ahead and get moving and make ourselves a harder target to fight with. Uh, we got a guy right there. Fire off chaff with the X key because he fired missiles at me. Am I on? I'm not on the correct weapon grouping right now. Let's go ahead and light him up, get his shields down. Let him show that we give as good as we get. Oh, he's got debris coming off right now. Good. I like to see them chunkies fly. job come to access your reward are waiting for you is it normal that mercenary contracts you offer to some guy that can't afford to pay his rent and has a rusted out spaceship end up being basically high level government infiltration missions because i was not expecting this paycheck to come with as much ptsd and murder as it ultimately came i killed a lot of people today i left home with no gun and a ship and I thought I was going to be, like, helping someone move, basically. I thought that I was basically, like, U-Haul for space. And then I show up here, and they're like, oh, no, 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 we're killing people today. I don't know what you thought you were moving boxes or, like, I don't know, serving drinks. What you thought you were going to be doing. Today we kill. Fair enough. I think that's 4,000 kilometers. I think there's a comma on there, and I couldn't see it when it was overlaid. 
But either way, we've got to go back and talk to our mission agent. He's the one that's going to get us paid up, get us a little bit of cash. Along the way, I'll show you the station interface, which actually I like a lot. Like, this game has, like, all kinds of, like, missiles and things like that you can look at. I haven't equipped any of them yet because I'm always poor, but, you know. Uh, we can also go to our inventory right now, and we can actually equip our character with various stuff. I've got this suit over here, so I've got the Saren suit. It's got 110 energy damage resistance. Uh, that's got not quite as much armor, in all honesty. But it does kind of look cooler if the textures ever decide to load on in. All right, so our contact has warped in. We're going to have to land on that L2 deck right there. I also need to get my speed adjusted. I'm going to come back by for another pass. Oh, I've got myself on. I had cruise control on. This game has cruise control. It's on your caps lock, in case you didn't know. That's why I'm pulling away without any input. We're going to need to put the landing gear down. All right, landing gear is now down. And then we're just going to bring her on in nice and gentle. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. We're now docked. Uh, inside space stations, you can go to the services panel over here. It'll allow you to buy different probes. You can buy different drones. You can buy different missiles that all have like a different model and look kind of cool. I still haven't figured out how to fire a missile yet, but someday I will fire a missile. Uh, you can manage your weapons over here if you wanted to get different weapons. You can have separate weapon groupings, uh, things of that nature. Uh, there's also components. So it looks like we can change out the actual shields, the power generation systems. Uh, we've got our aim extension right there, which allows us to do that autopilot snap to enemy thing. Uh, it looks like we can also... These are basically just a selection of passives that get added onto our loadout. Don't know what these three slots are for right here. I assume they're useful for some kind of componentry. Uh, we've also got a shotgun and we've got a melted metal that we can apparently sell to merchants. I don't know what Massactor is. I'm not going to question it. I'm just going to assume that it's not relevant right now. Oh, yeah, dude. My new battle suit looks dope. I'm all shiny and stuff, bro. I'm all shinied out. All right, all right, all right. Let's get on into the station. I'm going to walk in like a professional with my rifle at a low ready. My sir, yes, sir is ready to pop on out. It would be cool if it actually showed the character. So when you walk inside of bases, your helmet just spontaneously disappears. It would be cool if they had an animation in there where he actually takes off the helmet and, like, fastens it to the back of his belt. So it would kind of be on my butt right there. Kind of be kind of cool. I don't know. Little details like that for immersion I feel matter. Mission man, let me get that money. Great job out there. Now any criminal will have to think twice before attempting to steal from us. I'm going to transfer the money to your account. Thanks. I just noticed you have a robot head on the table over there. What's the story behind that? This old thing. It's an old piece of junk I found in the remnants of an old battlefield. Come to think of it, it was right in the system on the moon 189 to 1. It turned out to be useless, though. I couldn't detect any signs of activity in it. Why do you ask? Can you tell me anything else about it? I've already mentioned where I found it. As for more parts, I could find none. But then again, I didn't stick around there too long. It's not exactly the safest of places. But if you want to risk going there, be my guest. I'd added the location to your scanner. Can you sell me the robot head? Why are you so interested in it? It must be of some sentimental value. Here's a counteroffer. How about you take the head, and I keep the money I was going to pay you? No, that deal sucks. I don't like that deal. I like cold, hard cash, not discombobulated, decapitated robot heads. Just be aware, though. I'm not sure if you've ever been to an old battlefield. Those places can be a very dangerous maze. You never know what you're going to run into. I wouldn't go there alone if I were you. Can you help me, George Bush alien? Well, you're in luck. I just happen to be in a good mood today. It just so happens that I need to collect some things from that area. How coincidental! Clear the area of any undesirables. I'll gather the drone parts for you, while I take care of my own business. Great. Send All right, cool, man. Sounds like a plan to me. My man's got... Why would you build a window right here if the engine was just going to obstruct the view? I swear to God, dude, space architects. Space architects and engineers, dude. Is that a Coca-Cola materializer? 
I could get down with that. I drink a lot of Pepsi, man. Like, I'm like a Pepsi receptacle. Some days, I think my blood is more Pepsi than actual, like, iron or, or like, fluids. Like, it's just all Pepsi all day long. All right, let's get back on our ship. Going to the front of the ship. Let me in. All right, so I'm inside my ship. Let's go ahead and do a takeoff protocol. We'll get on out of here. It retracts the landing gear automatically uh, when you take off from a location. And so we need to go to the Old War Debris. All right. Sounds like a plan to me. Uh, apparently, the Old War Debris is all purpley warply and over there. So we'll go ahead and trajectory. We'll get a warp trajectory going. And it looks like it's kind of close, so we'll go ahead and use the thumb button here. I had to rebind. Listen, listen, listen. Locking onto locations requires my middle mouse button. And as we talked about over the course of the last couple weeks, my middle mouse button doesn't work. So everything gets re-key bound to my thumb mouse by default that goes on the middle mouse button. It's just something I've gotten used to. All right? These salvagers, they don't warmly welcome you to do work in their area. That's why you should get rid of those salvagers first. Wait, so I'm just murdering guys trying to earn a living? right? Dude, I feel like a bad person. Uh, give me my real gun. We'll go ahead and put some lasers on him. Oh, yeah, I'm not in third. Oh, flare. I got to fire flares. Hold on. I got scared. All right, let's give it to him. All right, his shields are down. It's time for machine guns. How would you like to be a floating frozen space corpse? Launch some chaff. All right, enemies down. Let's go ahead and bring it around on some maneuvers. I actually, I think the little like Star Fox dodge roll thing they give you, or like the dodge slide, it lets you do some pretty interesting things when it comes to like turning the ship around and whatnot. Is he jousting with me right now? I can't really tell. No, he's kind of just doing like a slow burn turn. Okay. Keep the guns on him. That health is moving. We got a flare out and down he goes. Uh, where's this last guy at? There he is. All right. Let's go ahead and get on him. Uh, look. Ow! I crashed into a thing. There is that loot right there? What is that? I don't know what that is, but I zapped it. All right. It was probably loot or something, but like, eh. It seemed like it was flying away awful fast. Let's take the gunfight to this last straggler. All right, we'll go ahead and slap on the machine guns now. I think that's the last, oh, we got missiles. Where you at, Bubba? There he is. Give him my lasers. Give him my machine guns. Oh, almost ran into debris. That was almost bad. Almost, but you know, I had the reflex. I had the reflexes to get out of the way of it. I'm coming in. Well, there he is. I'm I'm right I'm on your six man. You go you go do your space drone stuff. I'm getting signal from the hidden one. I think it's trying to redirect us to other one. Am I about to get a robot friend? I feel like I deserve a robot friend. I've been through a lot this year. It's only been two months, but it's been a hell of a year so far. I deserve a robot friend. And also a pizza and maybe like a two liter Mountain Dew. I deserve a lot of things. He said that so nonchalantly in an AI voice. Oh, man. All right, so we got one four. This guy's closer. Let's get him. Shield's taking a little bit of a licking right there. Let's get out of his firing line. He's trying to, he's trying to hurt my alien friend, man. This video right here is going to be my bargaining chip when the aliens eventually arrive here on Earth 
and they start taking out humans left and right. I'm gonna show them this video, and I'm gonna be. Why does it feel like? I was gonna say it feels like my camera's weird right now. Anyways, I'm gonna show them this video and be like, no, no, no. I am a friend to the aliens. Look what I'm doing in this video right now. I volunteered for no pay to help out an alien guy who looks just like you. Just out of the goodness of my own heart, you don't need to send me to the. You don't need to send me to the dematerializer like like Dave. Dave deserves that. I don't. Oh. Well, the aliens are also kind of gray-looking. The the pirates are also gray-looking aliens. That's not good. That's kind of bad for my case. All right, I'm getting shot a little bit too much right now. And I would prefer to no longer be shot. If the if the shooting could subside, that would be good. Fire some chaff. Oh, look at that. There's capital ships. Oh boy, okay. Let's go ahead and dip, dodge, dive. Because I don't think they're our friends. I, I don't think that you do. I feel like that might be the smallest bit of hubris. Oh yeah, the capital ships are fighting each other. I don't believe in running away. We finished this thing. These pirates attacked me and they tried to kill my only alien friend. They must be punished. I'm behind on my rent and I'm furious about it. I think we leveled up. Nice. Uh, are there any more bad guys left? Oh, there's like little compartments too. Oh, you can target, like, individual areas of the enemy ship once you get to, like, capital ship combat. Rad. So you can, like, disable their fire suppression system, then hit them with a... Oh, that was at me. And then fire a whole bunch of, like, uh, fire bombs at them or whatever. That'd be kind of cool. All right, I'm going to disengage for a second. Uh, we need to get out of here. Let's leave this place as soon as possible. Yeah, that feels like a smart idea. Uh, I'm going to go back to the mining station. Line me up, baby. Get me out of here, autopilot. It's getting awfully scary. There's a lot of lasers in the air. Let's go! Woof. Apparently, we have a full robot. Okay. Exit out. All right. Sorry about that. I had to load my save. I had some kind of like audio bug thing going on. I'm going to try to clean it up in post and I'll just make the audio like really, really quiet. But it was like there was like a repeating sound in the background that I didn't even notice because I was engaged in crazy dog fighting uh, that entire time. But it's gone now. So that's good. So that's actually kind of like a major bug. Uh, just like an audio sound repeating over and over and over again. Can I land at this mining station? You know what? Let's stay on the task. And apparently I need to go to a Stargate. And I need to go to Zonix Air. So let's let's do that. Let's let's do something productive here. We have a little bit of time left in the video. We might as well see how far off the rails we can get this space adventure. Stargate, near or far gate, take me far away from this place where I'm definitely a murderer. Woo, okay, what's up, Stargate? Alright, so we gotta go to the galaxy by pressing M, and then we've gotta find Zonix Air. So where is, there it is right there. Alright, so if I wanted to chart a route over here, there we go. The route has been charted. And then... Uh, 
I'm assuming we just pull up on the Stargate and it slingshots us? Ah, there we go. So I've actually got to say jump to next route. Okay. Please proceed through the gate in the path reserved for you. I'm not going to lie. This seems kind of terrifying. Uh, it is invoking visual imagery that makes me worried about my safety, but hey. Destination reached. Did that just kill me and make a copy on the other side? Someone needs to be honest with me, because that kind of felt like I got disintegrated and reassembled. Did I just die? Did the previous copy of myself cease to exist, and now it's just a new copy? being created over here like is this a technically a new ship that's just been made out of the old atoms of the other ship i don't know uh we got to go to Sanak station though is Sanak station here there is Sanak station let's oh it's already lined up lucky lucky me let's go for it boom baby we've arrived oh that's a big chunky boy station okay all right, so, like, how do I land on Big Chunky Boy Station? Do I have to request docking permission? Is that a thing that I've got to do? Docking request granted. In order to use station services, please dock to the portal work for you in the next minute. Oh, they gave me my own platform. Okay. Landing gear deployed. We'll get the landing gear down. I like how we've got a little landing gear camera over there, too. That's kind of cool. Oh, I didn't mean to fire flares. That was my bad. I'm sorry to anybody that I just blinded. I'm really apologetic about all the purple spots I just put in your eyes. What service does do they, do they have here? Do they have different things? Can I get a different ship? What if I wanted to get a different ship? Where do I get a different ship at? I don't know. I guess I'll just hop out the whip real fast. Elevator. I'm just gonna I'm gonna go Iron Man mode, dude. I'm gonna go I'm gonna go Iron Man mode on this. Oh, there's a little door, dude. I'm dumb. I'm like flying around like an idiot right now. People are watching me from inside the station being like, what is this moron? What is this landsider doing? There we go. I know how to use doors. I'm big smart. They just, they threw me off with that over there. Ooh, there's a component thing. Oh, cool. So we can, like, buy gear over here. There's, like, different guns. We can sell things over here. I'll probably just sell that. $12 is not very much. Like, yeah, it's more than I've got. The shotgun, I kind of want to use, though. That other shotgun scares me. It goes, like, whoop, and, it, like, it, it makes me scared. So I'm just going to take a normal, just, like, old school, like, yeehaw shotgun because it makes me feel better. All right, so we'll sell that off. What do we have over here? Are the shops different? Oh, yeah, look at that. We get repair kits. We get shield boosters. Looks like there's, like, consumables. It looks like we get component upgrades. Dude, where's the ship? I want to see the ships. Show me the ships, baby. Show me the ships. There it is. All right, what do we got here? We've got the Quen. Okay, all right, that looks pretty cool. We've got the Donnarunnarar. I also kind of like that one right there. I kind of dig it. We've got the Marauder, which is the, I, I think, the gnarly turd of a ship that I currently have. Uh, we've got an XM-1, which basically looks like the front end of a Y-Wing from Star Wars. No change, even though they've got different, like, versions. The Ma It's an X-Wing, bro! <laughs> Yo, you better watch out. Disney doesn't play. I mean, I love it. I think it looks rad. I don't care at all, but, like... You know, watch out. Watch out. Oh, there's new gun turrets over here, too. Oh, those are expensive, though. I only have, like, $1,000 to my name, so those are going to apparently cost me if I really want those. All right, let's go find... Who is it? Whoever this guy's friend is that he just pointed me at in order to go make friends. Talk with Smen. Smen it sounds like a fluid 
that ends up building up on a wound that you didn't properly clean up. You go to the doctor and they're like, yeah, well, you got a little build up of smen, but... Smen, my man, are you around? Oh, I like how some people are, like, carrying stuff around, too. Like, people have different armor sets and things on. Like, they look like different characters from one another. She's having a phone call right now. Okay. Dude, there's, like, a little cantina over here, dude. There's, like, chappy robots walking around. That one's got a busted leg. This place is big, dude. This place is, like, really, really big. I've been wandering now for, like, a minute. I found out there's a little wireframe doom map that pops up if you hold down control. That might make things a little bit easier. But, yeah, this station's pretty large, dude. It's got, like, multiple floors. So far, I found a console that allows you to do, like, diplomacy or something. I found a console that lets you turn in captives and, like, fugitives and, like, criminals. Like, apparently, you can just bring them in here in handcuffs. I honestly do not know. Hey, there's our man. Uh, I have a robot that is cut into pieces. Can you fix it? Of course, that's what I do for a living. Let me see the pieces. Now that's a beautiful thing. It's been decades since I've seen a similar model. It must be more than 50 years old. Fascinating. Yes, I can do that, but it will cost you both time and money. Okay. If I should be repairing this guy, it will cost you something for sure. You need to understand that it's pretty hard to get the right spare parts. But I fear that without those, I won't be able to get him back to life. Now it depends on you. I could do that for you, but it will cost you a significant amount of T-Y. And it will take at least two hours. But I've got a proposal for you. Instead of paying me, you could do a small job for me. All right, all right, all right. Let's do the mercenary thing. Alright, so we gotta go to Zunvar, and we gotta find this guy's friend, otherwise he won't give us a robot friend. We're trading friendship for friendship right now. Back to the ship! One thing I didn't find while I was running around is I didn't find, like, a mission broker or anything uh, to give you, like, space mercenary missions. I'm guessing they're gonna keep us on a leash for quite a while here before we're gonna be able to do anything else with it. But honestly, so far, like, they- I think, like, all the reviews are valid. Like, there seems to be something here. Right? I'm getting that feeling that this is going to be more than the sum of its parts, but there is jank. There is missing voice acting. Uh, there was that clipping, repeating sound problem that we had that I had to fully restart the game in order to, like, get rid of it because it was driving my ears nuts. Like, there are... There's, there's janky edges on this thing. That much is kind of undeniable. But that having been said, from, like, the placeholders and things that I've seen around... It kind of seems like to me they've got quite a few things planned for this game. And given the fact that there are people with 300, 400, 500 hours posting about the game on Steam, I'm guessing that those people have gotten to the fun stuff and are doing like the fleet management and are doing like the crafting and the industry because I can't imagine you'd put 400 hours is a lot to put into a game. Let's just really quantify that. I think that, like, Hunt Showdown, which I streamed basically for a living for, like, a year and a half straight, I have, like, 600 hours in that. And I was getting paid to play it, you know what I mean? Uh, so that's a lot of hours to put into a game on your own volition. Uh, let's see where our next ping is at. So we were supposed to go to... Go to Koron's lab at Zunvar. Okay, where is Zunvar at? Zunvar is right there. We'll go ahead and set our target. Am I gonna- I'm gonna get into a gunfight, aren't I? Oh, look at that big old Chonk Boy ship right there, dude. I want one. Dude, look at that thing. I'd name- I don't- I don't even know what I would name it, dude. I'd probably name it something dope like the Blammerhead. Okay, so, like, do I need to land on this planet? I'm guessing I do need to enter Atmo. So, I'm just gonna go ahead and do that, I guess? Woohoo, buddy! We are entering Atmo! Please, no sounds like wah, 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 wah. Oh, it just automatically takes you to the location 
that you're expected to go to, why is my ship... Is it just auto-landing me down there? Do I not get to free fly on the planet surface? We're coming in awfully hot right now. I have no control over my ship. Something wrong. Check Coram's lab. Apparently it gave me control of my ship. I don't know. Is there a landing pad down here for me? Let's straighten out and fly right for a second. I'm about to get shot, aren't I? I'm definitely about to get shot. Alright, let's bring her in for a landing. I'm going to get the landing gear up. We'll come in. Alright, let me hop out of the ship. Looks like we've got atmosphere. I'm going to get my gun out because I've got just like this I'm going to get shot at feeling. That's the feeling that I've got deep down inside my tummy guts right now. I've got the I'm going to get shot at feeling. Pleasant weather. Couldn't have landed on a sunny day, huh? Of course not. That'd be too easy. Is that a dead guy right there? I think he's dead. I think I saw a body. The boxes are placed around in such a way that I feel like I'm probably going to be using them for cover. At least that's what it feels like to me. I knew it. These are Corrin's men, and I'm sure they know you're here. Don't stand a chance against the mercenaries of Corrin's with that equipment of yours. You need better equipment. I know where Corrin hides his stash. Let me show you. All right. I like free equipment. I like good stuff over here. Oh, it wouldn't let me jump over the boxes. The game does have like a vault animation though, which surprised the hell out of me when I found it. This did not strike me as the kind of game that was going to have a working functional vault animation that executes smoothly, but it does. Uh, what is that? A fu sniper rifle. Okay, so we've got like some stuff in here. We've got a Avamba suit. I want to wear an Avamba. Uh, it won't let me wear the Avamba suit, unfortunately. What about the pistol? We can have the pistol. We can have the pulse rifle. Ooh. I don't know which stuff is new and which stuff is old. I say just throw it in there, man. If it's got good DPS, throw it in there. Ow, I've been shot. Yeah, get wrecked, nerds. Oh, I got to reload. Game off. All right, game back on. Uh, this gun feels decidedly worse than the previous one that I was using, so this one feels a little wonk. But, hey, it's killing guy. What is that thing? Kill it. Oh, it's a drop pod. Uh, what's up with my pistol? Is my pistol cool? Pistol's definitely kind of a holdout weapon. It does not cycle quick. Ow! I'm sure they took him down to the research center in the cave. I know I'm asking too much, but would you go to the cave in the elevator and check it out? Yeah. Try not to get blown up right now, but yeah, I could probably go on down to some spooky cave and keep it going. Uh, the Trunix suit. I'll take it, man. If I can't use it, I'll sell it. How does it compare to what I have on right now? Like, what, what, what does it have going on? Also, did I level up or anything? I'm soldier level one right now. Oh, there's like perks and things too. Oh, dude, there's like things. Oh, yeah. It looks like we get, like, actual, like, hotkey abilities once again, kind of like Mass Effect style. Okay. All right. Fair. Fair. So, basically, I take these and I put them inside, like, the action bars. I don't know if I actually have these, though. It says that I got to learn them first. Maybe I got to level up a little bit more. It looks like I hit level four pilot, but I don't know how to bring up the... Oh, there we go. There we go. There we go. 
All right, so we've got reflexes. We've got willpower. Uh, let's go with a little bit more damage. And let's just even out shields. I like that idea. Let's do that. And I'm guessing we get one of these when we max out that meter right there, possibly. Okay. All right. Fair. Oh, there's an elevator. It goes down into the caves. Okay. Well, I think I got to stop here. This is Spaceborne 2. Uh, very, very interesting ideas being played around with. And honestly, it's more than I expected. It seems like there's some cool stuff to play around with here. And I've got the distinctive feeling that we haven't even hit the meat and potatoes of the game yet with, like, the fleet management and, like, the empire building and having, like, your own fighter wing and your own soldiers that drop pod to the ground with you to, like, fight alongside you in order to, like, conquer, you know, facilities and things of that nature. Like, there's a lot of things alluded to on the Steam forums right now that after an hour we have definitely not gotten to but I would like to. I would like to very, very much. It's obviously janky, and it's definitely got some rough edges in there, but I am kind of inclined to say that this might be one of those games that with some love and touch and squeezing and a solid work ethic uh, could end up being something really, really rad from what I've seen so far. Now, keep in mind, this is obviously only the first hour of gameplay that you have seen of this title. And we have run into, like, bugs, and, like, the control scheme is not necessarily the best when you're flying. It takes some getting used to. Uh, it feels a little bit, you know, wobbly from time to time. Uh, the land legs combat feels okay to me, although I do think, once again, this is my soapbox. The guns could be punched up a little bit uh, in certain cases. Uh, there are obvious areas where the UI could do a little bit better in, like, showing where my actual ammo in magazine is at. Uh, but... For right now, I had a really good time doing this episode, despite all the kind of like little janky things like the AI voices and like that sound bug that we got and other things like I'm actually kind of wanting to explore this game a little bit further. This game was not sent to me by the developers. I went ahead and just bought it after reading about it on the Steam forums and the reviews for about 45 minutes. And frankly, I feel like I'm kind of impressed right now with what they've got going on. It's rough. But it could be something awesome. Yes. Oh, they killed his friend, dude? They put him inside like a little... Ow. Damn it. I told him not to mess with Quirk. Wait a second. If you see any AT documentation around, it should be in a small mechanical box. I don't... I, I see only corpies. Damn. It must not fall into Quinn's hands. Fortunately, we had a tracking device attached to the AT document. Just wait a sec. Yeah, it's a little bit janky. But as I was saying, it's a little bit janky, but it's janky like in the Elix Gothic way. Where the jank is oddly kind of charming, I guess. Like, you know that you should be upset about it, but like the game is attempting to do so many things simultaneously like that even games like star citizen and elite dangerous couldn't pull off and this is like a little tiny team that's managed to get space legs atmospheric combat out of atmo combat entry re-entry exiting atmospheres uh warp gates uh slingshotting like there's for for each janky thing there's like four things that they're doing here that i'm like wow this is actually kind of dope for a small team and so anyways, if nothing else, check it out. Put it on your wish list. See if it develops and gets some uh, polish passes and stuff like that. My name is Splattercat. I sift through the pile to find what's worthwhile in the world of indie games every single day so you don't have to. Today up on the chopping block, we were messing around with Spaceborne 2. Tomorrow, it'll be something else. That's all I got. Bye, folks.